Hey, Mozzie, you know what's crazy? Good, everybody. It's your boy, Moz, checking in again. And today, we're going to be answering some questions that were DM'd to me. These came from my Instagram followers. If you're not following me, you should at M-A-Z-Z-Y underscore D-A underscore K-I-N-G. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So the first question that I received came from Little Lenzo in Houston, Texas. And it reads, do you believe all men should hold down all of the bills or should it be 50-50? So here's my thing. This question has always caused like controversy and I just feel like it all depends on the income. So it all depends on what she makes, what he makes. But I also want you all to just don't be a goofy. And if you can sense that someone is using you, don't just get used. Like, if you're in it not for the love, not because you like the person, but because you're just trying to get taken care of, cut that person off. So if a guy has already been living somewhere and he invites his lady to come live with him, I think it's kind of crazy to say, hey, let's pay everything 50-50 now because you've been there already and you've been paying that certain like fee structure. So for you to invite her there and say, hey, we're going to split everything down the middle, that looks a little nuts, so I can see why most women are against that. And the best case scenario, and again, this is just my opinion, if you all are like buying a house or you all are moving to a bigger crib together, it would be nice if the man paid like the rent or the mortgage and the woman paid the utilities and help with groceries. That's like the best case scenario, and I'm not saying it, you know, it has to be that way. I'm just giving you my take on it. Now, there are some of you, now this goes for males and females, where you just move a nigga in off the street and, you know, just take care of him. You'll pay everything, uh, give him money, let him drive your car. Cut that goofy shit out, bro. Fellas, just try to stay away from telling your girl, let's split everything down the middle. Because it's 2020 and the way these women are acting, you're probably going to get cheated on. So just take heed to that. God! <laughs> Cut! <laughs> All right, y'all. So our next question came from Jazz the Taurus in Sunny LA. Her question reads: Why do niggas say they like natural, but cheat with plastic, or idolize it? This is a good question. Before I answer it, immediately it makes me think of how women say they want a good man, but constantly date street niggas. So. I just want to throw that out there. But let me answer the question. I think with men, everything is more like physical when it comes to, you know, attraction or relationships. They just want to fuck them. So they may like looking at those nice bodies or, you know, may cheat with those bodies. But what they're really saying, and it's the hard truth, they would never wife that. They would never wife that type of woman with all the plastic shit, all the fake shit, all the extreme fake shit. But they're telling you they prefer you because you're probably like the natural one. That's just how niggas are, man. Like, there's no real formula or any real rhyme or reason behind it. This is a good topic, and I'm glad you brought this up. So, fellas, I got to be honest with you. We've got to stop doing that shit. Stop bashing something that low-key you really like. Like, stop that shit. That's corny, and you're sending mixed signals to your woman. Just leave that shit in 2020, bro. And ladies, don't kill me in the comments. I have nothing against anybody who has work done. I'm for them. I'm for the naturals. Women can do whatever they want to with their bodies. So shout out to all of y'all. All right, we got to do this more often. But this is the last question I received. And this person told me to keep this anonymous. The question reads, I think my guy is cheating. Should I go through his phone? Bruh. Going through the phone? That's what we gonna do? You serious? I think all types of intrusions of privacy when it comes to like going through somebody's phone or going through somebody's DM, that's corny. If you gotta do all that, why be with that person? That's just my opinion. And again, I'm just telling you how I feel about it. But if you wanna jump out there, go through somebody's phone, there's a 95% chance you may get your feelings hurt. And I'm not saying that that person is cheating. I'm just saying that you may read something that, you know, shocks you. For example, a lot of women be talking about you in their group chat. 
And they may not be saying that they're cheating, but they just may hate something about you that you had no idea. Like, man, this nigga breath stinks. And then you'll be sitting there crying and shit. So I wouldn't do it, bro. Just my opinion. Leave the phones alone. If you have to do all of that, leave. We'll definitely do this more often. Probably once a week, we'll do these type of questions. So I'll just open up that DM box. It'll say, you know, insert question here. I'll give you a shout out. I'll read your question and I'll answer it just like I did today. Do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. Mozzie out. Fuck you, Mike. Fuck you and your ugly ass bitch. <laughs>